Here's the valve cover back from Steve. One's in the stripper right now. I wanted to make a quick video clip. Because of the lines that were in the valve covers, we couldn't do the design that we want to as well. So we went ahead and sent them back to Steve. He went ahead and milled them down. Now we've got them back. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip them and get the design on it. We've got everything else powder coated. The fuel rails with the red, white, and blue, as well as the block that's white, the intake that's white, and the oil pan that's white. We're gonna do the same design on these valve covers that we did. So let's go ahead and get to it. Instead of taping off the back, you're gonna see that we vacuum off the back, and then we're gonna put them in the oven so we can do a partial cure on them. Let's go ahead and get to that. After we partial cure, then we'll get to the vinyl stage.
Okay, so we have the block all taped up. We've got the holes plugged, have threads, other ones are covered. And we're gonna go ahead and get this blasted. It has been outgassed. We did use wax and grease remover on it, but after we blast it, it will come out nice and clean. We don't have to blast this top area, the sides, front here, not this piece right here where I'm gonna cover that. I just saw that. We don't want that roughed up. All the smooth stuff, we want it to stay smooth. Now, Steve still has machining to do on this block, so while I will go ahead and get as much sand out of it as possible, I'm sure it's gonna go through a rigorous cleaning process after the machining is done, so I'm not worried about any residual media but I'm gonna do my best to keep it out of the block the best that I can. Let's go ahead and get this blasted. After that, it's gonna be going white. 